Free kick and a chance here for Kelly. He scored! Yeah. Incident's going to be extra time winner. Connor Jennings, James Norwood, yes! James Norwood has scored it. De Vries with the cross, the header, it's in. It's Connor Jennings. Good afternoon and welcome back to a trip to the moon, where things have been going uh, a bit meh. <laughs> we haven't won in a while, but then again, we had the World Cup on, so. The season has been very strange, so we had no games for all November. If you're wondering, Holland won the World Cup. The Netherlands, if anyone's watching from the Netherlands, before I get told off in the comments. But yeah, Holland won the World Cup. So since you last with me, like I said, we haven't won. Not since the Leicester game. We've got that draw against United. We've lost the teams we should be losing to. And we picked up points against the teams we should be picking points against. And we played a lot of away games in that as well. So we've only actually had one home game in the league since then. And one home game in the FA Cup, which we got minced in. So we followed that with a 2 0 defeat to Chelsea. Again, a penalty and an 89th minute one to seal it. We weren't too bad. Um, Timo, Timmy didn't have a great game, but, you know, Burnley, oh, sorry, Arsenal then at home. I don't like losing at Prenton Park, but Arsenal are top of the league at the moment, so they're, they're running away with it, or were at the time. Our best players were a left back and uh, a goalkeeper, so it says all you need to, you know, know about that game. <laughs> then we had Burnley uh, away, nil nil draw. Happy enough on TV. We made money from it. Then Bournemouth, Bournemouth absolutely wiped the floor with us. They were three 0 up at half time, and that, the boy McCalmas I wanted to sign. He just ripped us apart. David Brooks, uh, Callum Wilson. Uh, I said it before, Bournemouth come really overpowered. Callum Wilson is disgustingly overpowered in this game. He is just. Amazing when you're playing against him. He's 30 now. We're 38.5 million. Our stats don't look anything out of the ordinary. He's just unbelievable. So, yeah, Romella scored, which is the highlight because he's really coming on. Then we went to Southampton, 3 1 all. Romella scored again. Again, we, we, we probably should have won this one. They were down to 10 men after 55 minutes. And surprise, surprise, Adrissa Gay got sent off. And then Newcastle, we drew 0 0 away from home. Can't complain. Look at up. Defense played great. Yeah, that's all I could say about it, really. Defence play great. So we'll take a look, quick look at the table, if I can find it. Competitions, there we are. We are sitting in 11th. We are still 11 points clear of West Ham in the bottom three. So, you know, we've won five, drawn five, lost six. I I'm fairly happy. Uh, Romella is on the top goal scorer list. He is third. He's only two, point two goals behind Rashford. So I I'm, pr I'm pleased. I, I think we're staying up. We need 20 more points, and we're guaranteed, I think. I think, actually, th given how low these teams are, I think 38 points will keep us up, but get to the 40-point mark, that's the aim. And we're doing that with less than half the season gone. And like I said, it's been a weird season because of the World Cup. Now, the transfer window is also open, so I've been trying to get some transfers in. Basically, I've got I've got people go out, but nothing come in. So if you look at our transfer history, I got rid of Brunari. He was never going to play. He, caught, he was a free from Juventus, and I sold him for £5 million. I mean... That's just pure profit. I, mean, I can't complain. He's never going to play in the team. He just wasn't good enough. Uh, I am desperately trying to get a few players in. We've only got a million pounds or so to spend because I whacked the load into the wage budget. Clemenza is on his way out. He has been whining something shocking. There's, there's quite a few whiners at the moment, actually. So I'll come on to that when we look at our lineup. But yeah, I'm trying to sign Brahim Diaz, but Real Madrid wants to pay his full wage. His full wage is 105k a week, and there's no way he's only worth 12 and a half million, and he's on 105k a week. After everything wrong with modern football, so yeah, we're gonna struggle with that one. Uh, and we did try and sign a couple of the loans there. And uh, Broadhead's nearly gone too. But well, listen, I'll come on to that when we get into the team. So, like I said in the last episode, we're gonna do something slightly different here because we got both Merseyside derbies very close to each other, with West Ham sandwiched in between. So I'm gonna play Everton now. Go offline and play West Ham and then come back to the Liverpool game. I would show you all three, but I'm not sure anyone's got the patience to listen to me rabbit on for half an hour. So <laughs> we'll get into our team here. So, like I said, there's been some kicking off. Um, Ivor Fossum was unhappy because he wasn't playing. Fair enough. But then he went and disrupted the whole dressing room. I mean, he even come in and he didn't even give me a chance to say, yeah, I'll play you. I went to say, yeah, I'll play you. And he just kicked off. He went mental. Now, he's on the bench today because... 
I don't have anyone else to put on the bench. But I keep, I didn't realise he's our highest earner, so he may have to go. He's on the transfer list. If I can get 10, 15 million from him, that'd be great because I can replace him, no problem at all. He hasn't, like I say, he hasn't been playing. I mean, and then Broadhead kicked off because he isn't playing. Where is he? Oh, he's on the bench again today because we're missing, we're missing Dostanich with the flu. I don't fancy giving the whole squad the flu. So yeah, so Broadhead's annoyed. Again, he's wanted by Coventry on loan. He's not worth a great deal anymore. Eight and fifty thousand. It might be because I haven't played him, but yeah, he, he he can go as well. The problem is if I get rid of too many of the like like Broadhead, too many of the English players, I'm gonna be struggling for how many foreign players we've got. Um, the Brexit have got meant that all players outside the UK and Ireland are considered foreign. I can only have seventeen in the squad. Okay, and then Clemenza kicked off. He was always kicking off, but he is wanted. Now he's rejected two moves away. And he can go for like a, he, again, his va- value's plummeted. But I played him at the start of the season. He wasn't great. I dropped him and then he kicked off straight away. So, you know, what do you do? And I've also had a fight with Neil Lennon. I think he has recalled. He must have recalled the winger we had on loan from Celtic. He, he kicked off. I told him, you know what, Lennon? Just just take him. I don't care. He's not going to play. So this is how we line up. I've got De Leon up front with Romella. Um, Dostanich, like I said, has got the flu, so he's out. Now, I've been told this is, you pronounce it Suarez. Okay, so I thought, you've got Tom Soares, who's spelt the same way. Okay, so but I'll, I'll say it Suarez, just so I don't annoy everybody. So we've got Suarez as the attacking playmaker here. I have an issue here that I need an attacking midfielder. The two I've got haven't been great, and Suarez, while he can play that position, it's not his natural position. Piero is box, box midfielder. Dragomir is the Mazzola there to give us some kind of cover over here. You see major issues here. I don't know why it isn't on the other wing. Maybe it's just because Temi isn't as good as Miranda. Skips at the base of the event, or sorry, the base of midfield. Miranda, Gellos, Hughes, and Temi, and Rostigan in goal. So we'll get straight into the game. Let me see. He's lacking, he's lacking match practice. In fact, when we come back from the World Cup, everybody was lacking match practice. So we'll take a look at the Everton lineup here. I know it's going to be strong. They're sitting really well placed in the Premier League. It's bound to be. Of course, Richarlison's still there. Uh, Julian Drax was there. Uh, Gabriel Barbosa is there. Yeah, it's, um, it's a scary team. I mean, Everton have the ability at the moment to just go out and buy. I guess I know they're not in the Champions League, but they've got the money to go out and buy players. So they, they should be doing better at the moment, Ethan. Okay, let's do it for the fans. Yeah, we'll go with that. We motivated one of them. I just don't, I just don't want to lose. I'm outside Derby at home. I really don't. Right, and here we are, Avanda, after a minute, into the box. Ah, oh, it's close. Who is that? Bra- Look at the size of him, Braithwaite. He's a big lad. Not much else is happening. They've had four shots, we haven't had one yet. She's on sides, early crosses, all that stuff. Why aren't we playing set pieces? Should be doing that. Right, Braithwaite with the ball out to Dinya. That's a good, well, it was nearly a good challenge by Skip, but although he redeems himself, he gets the ball forward. We've knocked it on, and De Leon's through. Can he finish it? Oh, no. It was the extra touch he didn't need. Didn't even go out for a corner. It's just that extra touch there. Right, not a great deal happening now again. Look at that, 12 shots to our two. We've had most of the ball, though. That's a change, isn't it? it makes a fool out of me. All right, Felipe. Hey, come on, Felipe. Go challenging. He's, he's glitched through two players there. <laughs> it doesn't help. Dean's the back post, and it's, oh, it's close. I thought Ross was going to save that, but obviously not. All right, so nil-nil at half time. We kind of played fairly awfully. Do it for the fans. Let's be aggressive. I'm far from pleased what I've just seen from this team. Get back out there. Give us a goal. Of course, Avanda balls the box. Coop Myers picks it up. Ball goes back out wide to Avanda. Back to Braithwaite. Back to Avanda. Come on, we need to get a challenge in here. We can catch him on the break if we can. Getting it all the way back to Pickford. Come on, he, he, he's bound to do something stupid. No. Traxler, ball out wide, back to Richardson. They've got a massive overload over there, and Richardson just fires wide. 
right, I'm going to need to start thinking about changes. What, what do I do to change this? I suppose we could go off defensive. I'd be a little bit more positive. Put Davis into the box. Um, it's just headed on by Barbosa. Let me see. Maybe come off defensive. Try. We, we have a lot of the ball. Maybe we should push forward with it. Felipe turns. That's a good turn. To Romella. Who's in? Can he finish it? Oh, it's a good save by Pickford. It was a chance, though. Nice ball into the back post, Felipe. Come on. Back post. And oh. De Leon picks it up. Can he recycle it? He's into the box. Felipe. Oh, we, it didn't even show the save. That's what Paul the hell it was. Right. What are you going to change things up after this? Look at this football. Just pinging it around. Evander. Put the through to Richardson, and it's a good save again by Rostigan. Right. Let's let's do some let's do tactics. <sighs> See, they're all not they're not all and no one's playing really badly. Is what I was trying to say there. So what do you change? All right. I'm gonna bring off Piero for Suarez. And bring on Zalazar. Hopefully he can nick us a goal. Again, he's got an eye for... He's rubbish, but he's got an eye for a goal. <laughs> that sounds weird, doesn't it? Right, back to deep line playmaker. You can do that, Suarez. And that's the only change I'm going to make so far. And I'm going to demand more. 20 shots to 6. We've, only, we've had the only clear cut, cut chance. Haven't said that. Haven't, how have some of their chances haven't been clear cut? They've had Richarlison through a couple of times. Right, Coop Myers. Back to him again. Bernardo. Coop Myers. We're diving in with challenges. How has he got out there? And oh, it's another good save. Rostigan's got to get him out of the match here. So Gordson into the box and it's over the bar. Come on, boys. Let's be, pot, let's be balanced. Maybe long throw into the box for Miranda. Salazar. Back to Hughes. To Felipe. He's got nowhere to go with it. But he gives it to De Leon. De Leon back to Felipe. Into Salazar. Oh, I told you he had an eye for a goal. And he goes and just passes it back. What is going on there? So Gord's for the ball into the box. Get it away. Brave weight. We're on the break. Romella is on the break. Look at the speed of this boy go. All he has always to do is square it. Oh no, if he would just laid it left, just a, a, a small pass left and going to clear a FIFA scumbag goal. Surely that was over the line. Zalazar, back to Hughes. Dragomir. Ball out wide again to, is that Jelos? It is. We've had our best opportunities there. Ah, uh, Rostigan 7.7, .7, man of the match. Right, Dinya. Into the box. And it's hit the bar. Oh, it was offside anyway. Ah, get out. Right, we're getting a nil-nil with Everton. We can't seem to win, but we're not losing many games. So, nil-nil with Everton. 21 points. Try to be the happiest set of supporters of these, even after, yeah. Well, I don't know about that. <clears throat> I'm sure Trammy supporters would, would really dislike that. Look, that clear cut chances, 3-1. to one. Anyway, into the dressing room. I'll appreciate the efforts. Why not? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play this West Ham game offline. They're 18th. I better be beating West Ham in 18th. <clears throat> you can hear my voice going. Uh, so we'll play this West Ham game offline, and I'll see you back for the Liverpool game. Welcome back. And before we get into the Liverpool game, I want to show you a couple of things. So we have done some transfer business. It's mainly business that way. It's all business out. We got rid of Fossum. We made a profit. We paid 10 million. We sold him to a Chinese team for 13. He was whining all the time. He had to go. clemenza has gone as well. I think we did turn a profit on this one as well. We did. We got him for free. Played 37 games last time round and eight this season. He's not going to play. He's permanently whining. 1.2 million. Can't really complain. He was only worth 850,000. And we got a sell on fee for him as well. And Bully Deer, he never, never really played for us. He's gone to Blackpool, 185,000, less than he's worth. But again, another profit. So since, oh, I'll say since the last game, we, we did beat West Ham. Beat them 1-0. And this is, I'm going to show you the goal because I thought it was quite a nice goal. That is not how you show somebody a goal. You know, we watch goals, yeah. There we go. <laughs> it 
<laughs> you know, sometimes you're clicking away and you forget what you're doing. So, we're obviously not scoring many goals at the moment. We're not conceding them either, which is nice. But there we go, Felipe. Look at that. Look at the bend on that. Top corner. Not saving that. And there we go. So, into today's Liverpool game, which they're sitting fourth. So, we look at the table again. They're fourth. Now, Everton are sixth. So, you can see where we're not picking points up. West Ham are in the bottom bottom three. So, obviously, we're picking, we're picking points up against the relegation rivals. Uh, and hopefully, we do manage to stay up. Because I've started looking at players for next season. I am desperately trying to get players in as well. So I'd, I'd like another attacking midfielder, at least. I'd like another defensive midfielder. Skip is good, but as you can see, as the team around him has improved, his star rating's gone down. Now he's a good player, and he's going to be, you know, he's going to be a decent player, but he's still only a championship standard. So I'd like to get another ball-winning midfielder in there. So here's how we line up for the Liverpool game. We got the Stanich and Romelu up front. Suarez sitting just behind them. Piero, Dragomir, Skip, Miranda. The Hads had to come in because unfortunately Gallos is injured. He's picked up what's got wrong with him now. Um, he's picked up a, a calf injury. I was trying to remember from back what muscle that was. It's definitely the calf. Um, so he's picked up calf injury. So we br we brought in Dahad. Now Dahad is another th great potential player. Three star current ability, so championship current ability, and five and a half star potential. I could have moved Temi back in and brought Tanner in, but Temi's playing out, out on the right hand side there quite well. So yeah, that's, that's how we line up. Roster going to go. Hughes, obviously Temi there. So we'll get into the game and we'll try not to embarrass ourselves. Now, I've already seen the scout report for Liverpool, and I am very afraid. It's like a who's who of wonder kids and, you know, the best players in the game. <laughs> so here we go. Sancho, Bailey, Kate is still there. Van Dijk is unbelievable. Robertson, Gomez, Alisson and goal. I'm not clicking the striker's name. You know what? He's going to score anyway. We may as well click him. Worth 102 million. Where did they get this? This boy came from Sociedad. He must... I don't remember ever seeing him become this good. Look at that. Wow. But 16s for everything. Well, pretty much all the main stats. Okay, he's going to be difficult to handle. <laughs> so let's, let's encourage the team. Be passionate about it, though. We've been... <laughs> right, now the medium is saying we've been on a bad run. And now we're saying we're on a good run. I think it's because we, we're not losing games. We're just drawing. And now we picked up a win. So it looks like a decent ish run. Got nothing to lose here. We have got loads to lose. I don't know. I know we're underdogs. That'll do. We're on the dogs, but get out there and give the fans something to cheer for. All right. Now, we went a bit more positive against West Ham because I thought we'd have... Well, say, we do have a lot of the ball anyway, but I thought we'd have more chances. Uh, it didn't kind of work. It didn't really... We won, but it didn't really work out. Uh, no. No, get out. Out. Oh, my. Jesus, what is this defending? Right, we, we, we survived the first 10 minutes. Oh, it doesn't look... Oh, we can't be giving free kicks on the edge of the box there like that. No, get it out. Out. Oh, that's poor. I'd let Jordan Henderson score as well. He must get a, a goal every three years. And a header as well. I'm sorry, Trammy fans. I don't want to let you down and lose to Liverpool, but I can't compete with that kind of money. Another ball into the box. We've got to be better than dealing with these. I mean, look at the size of Sam Hughes. He's huge. It falls to the back post, and it's 2-0. Jaden Sancho, it's a good finish. This is depressing. Oh, he's offside. Never mind. <laughs> That's because I looked down. Then I was in. I was a bit disgusted. I mean, he, he was offside, but oh, but it was a good finish. Right, let's demand more. Just don't, just don't get battered at home. I don't want the media kicking off. I mean, we've had more possession. We haven't had a single shot though. You know why? Because I'm not on shoes on site. Play for set pieces as well. It's time waste a bit. I know we're losing, but I'm not going for this. <laughs> if I go for this, I'll leave myself open to getting absolutely slaughtered. Right, Roskin's got the ball. Does it mean we're going to get an attack? Hughes. Oh, Jesus, that is some lump forward. The Dostanic, who's given it to Felipe. He's been in good form recently. Felipe to Romella. Oh, it's poor. I thought he was going to put that away. It's a poor finish from Romella. It was a good move, but really poor finish. Again, look at the amount of ball we're having against Liverpool. Right, Robertson to Cater. Come on, nick it off him. Back inside to Ramos. Base with a poor header on. Back to Rostigan. Don't mess it up there. Rostigan out wide. Piero. 
Miranda. The had ball over the top. Ramella's in. Can he finish it? Oh, he can't. He's offside anyway. He was offside anyway. I was nearly waiting. Wait, you're going to make a substitution there and take somebody off. We're only in the first half. It feels like it's been going on for ages. Right, Ramella picks the ball up again. After to Stanic, who does well. So he brought that down well. Can he? He's fallen on. Go on, get it into the box. There's nobody there. Oh, he scored. How is he slipped that in? I, I don't know where you want to fault the goalkeeper. I have no idea how he slipped, managed to get that in. Really don't. So to Stanic down the wing. He's got a bit of luck there. He's ran onto it, but look at this. I don't know how he's finished this. That, to me, that looks like it's gone through the side netting. I'll tell you an interesting story about that. Um, I won't tell you what school I went to, but I we played um, Woody, uh, which is Woodchurch High School, in the final of the Wirral Cup when I was younger. Right, well, let's see this highlight go. It's gone. And we drew three all and won on a coin toss the, the World Cup they didn't have penalties for some reason but our equaliser actually went through the side netting I mean it was blatantly through the side netting and they let it stand I'm going to show up about that though if anyone anyone remembers that anyone that's watching is that is of my age probably will remember the story that went round about this it flew in through the side netting it was unbelievable right dressing room I'm, I'm happy with that we really come into it that at the end of the second I can't talk anymore. The end of the second half. Right, passionate. Everyone dig in, that's it. Dig in, get a result here. And please, so far, we got a draw with Everton. We beat West Ham and we're drawn with Liverpool. We give the fans something to cheer for with a goal. But Sancho again, out to Robertson. Don't be letting the left back score, for God's sake. Oh, it's some last ditch defending. There's some absolutely massive blocks. Piero to skip out to Miranda Miranda with the ball and, oh, just outside the box sorry I had to sneeze oh no never mind wow what a goal right I sneezed there I had to turn the microphone off and we just scored a wonder goal oh it shows you how my setup is I just turned the microphone off as he's about to hit it but drag me back in Felipe to Romella and to Stanic, who has been playing poorly the last couple of games. I was an absolute thunderbolt. I got with 2 1 up against Liverpool at home. Romella's not having a great game. Now he's up to 6.8 now. Right. How do I close this game out? Does anyone know how to close a game out against Liverpool? Oh, they've hit the bar. Right, team instructions. Just be direct. Um, dribble less, more disciplined. Slow the pace down. Um, use tighter marking. I don't want to too high dive and too deep here because get stuck in. No, get stuck in. Just kick them everywhere. If I go do go too deep and give them more of the ball, they'll pick me open. We are definitely FM in them here. <laughs> right. Get the ball out. Now Felipe's got the ball. Out to Romella. He's got the beating of his man there. Look at the speed of him. No. Oh, square the ball. Romella, please square the ball. It was there. Right, let's make a, let's make some substitutions here to waste some time. Nick Pause it. Tactics. Um, what do we do here? Drag him here. Not, I don't really want to take anybody off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Or do we go back to... Have we got something more defensive? Not really. I undo all that. I am actually going to bring Suarez back into midfield there. If it wants to let me do it. Right, so we're going to do this for a start. I don't want to bring anyone off yet. Everyone's having a decent game. I haven't really got anyone I could bring on. But we'll play on. A little bit more defensive. Right, let's go very defensive. See, as soon as I do that, they get a highlight. It's look at the, you know, it's just my luck. <sighs> You've hit the post. We are getting absolutely battered. Right, come on, boys. Let's get it out. We've got pace up front. Just get it forward. 
Time's ticking on. Come on, Tramia. This will be the first time we've beaten Liverpool in the safe. First time we played them in a competitive game, though, isn't it? Anyway, Neves, Neres, oh, it's close again. Look, I'm kind of powerless to do anything here. I think I can make subs, but again, what do I do? Everyone's playing quite well. Right. Dragomir can come off for... No. Piero can come off for Holberg. Um, let's get some fresh legs on. And <sighs> Listen, answers on a postcard, boys. You you can't change your defence either. We'll just make the one change just to waste a bit of time. Even a two all, I'll be happy with because I know it's coming. It's ticked on. It, we've beaten Liverpool. Now look at the stats. We've been absolutely murdered, <laughs> but we've beaten Liverpool. Tramia 2, Liverpool 1. Tell you what, the tide's shifting in the Mersey. It's coming back to the Wirral. <laughs> appreciate the efforts. We definitely should. Passionately appreciate it. Proud of performance out there. I'm proud of that. I am. The whole the Wirral will be on the streets tonight. The coolies <laughs> will be banging with Tramia fans. So anyway, <laughs> I'm made up with that. I can't believe beat Liverpool. So look at the schedule then. What we'll do is we'll come back. I want to come back for another big game. Um, I'm going to play, obviously play... I'll play... I'll play all of February. You know what? I'll come back for the Newcastle and Southampton games. They're not big games, but... Uh, yeah. I'll, hopefully, we, we'll be able to say we're nearly secure. I'll come back for them. So, we'll, I'll play all these games offline. Come back for the Newcastle and Southampton. Listen, thanks very much for watching. If you are enjoying this, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Okay.